Hi. Hi, Year Eleven. Um, so this is a this is like a transition video for those of you that are thinking of going to do maths, further maths, either A level somewhere else, or, or IB here at yeah. Null. Uh, and so we've been asked to do a transition video based on some of the concepts that, that you have already done but you're going to need to revise. Yeah. Miss Cheeseman has planned this lesson, I know nothing about it, I'm going to let her do it and I'm just going to kind of interject every so often. Yeah, so this is, um, we've got a few topics from Miss Barham which we're going to be working through to kind of prepare you for the IB but this would be also perfect for A-level. Perfect for well. A-level, good start. So good start. wherever you're going we're going to support you. So, what I want you to do is just factorise and solve these three quadratics for me, straight off the cuff. Straight off. Go for it. Off you go. I know Gabby's watching. Yeah. Oh. And also, uh, hang on, also, oh, we're not also, not for them. Well, whilst they're thinking about it, because they say, uh, ideally, if you're not at Noel and you're coming to know then you want to engage with these mm. videos at all as well. And the head of sick form will contact you and tell you uh, how to get to these. Yes, yeah, so you'll be uh, right. So we're going to pause, are we? Yeah. Pause. Yeah. And we're back. Hopefully you enjoyed those. Yeah. Hopefully they were you were thinking, oh I missed maths and this is so beautiful. That's what I'd be thinking anyway. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Gonna oh, oh gonna have to cut I'm that. Gonna have to cut that name. So <laughs> just gonna factorise this. I'm gonna have x plus four and x cheat. minus three because I need four times minus three take minus twelve and four take away three is one. You have to remember that that is Have you just done that by inspection then? I have just done that by inspection, and that is how quick I would expect them to be with a with an equation to factorise. Good. If I'm going to solve it, I'm then looking for what my bracket's going to be to equal zero. So I'm going to have minus four here, and I'm going to have three, three there. There. Beautiful. The next one is going to be as quick. I'm going to look at this. I know both are going to be positive. Mm -hmm. 56 is my favourite time table. Yeah. It's 7 times seven, 8. 7 8. And therefore, my two beautiful. solutions are minus 7 and minus 8. Now, I whacked this one in here. Can I have a bit more page? Yeah, you've got a bit more page. page. There you Thank go. You. I whacked this one in here because I thought, oh, sometimes we forget there's little cretins in our brain that we forget about. Cretins. Good cretins. Good I love how much cretins. <laughs> um, so... Looking for two numbers that multiply to minus six mm. and add to make zero. Mm. What's it going to be? Must be the same number. Yes, different two space. Mm. But one's a positive, one's a negative. Beautiful. And as we went through with year seven, you can write that like that, mm, yeah. or you can write it Ooh. like that. Easy. So that should be right in your head. That should be pull out knowledge. That should be nice and easy. If you're going for IB maths, you're going for A level maths. That's where your algebra is going to have to be. Sorry guys, but it should be there. On par with me. So here we go. Oh, so different. Squared. So different. Five mm -hmm. x squared minus nine x minus two. Now, as Mr. Casey said, those first three I just did by inspection is mm -hmm. something I can just look at and I can just know the answer. Now, these ones you could just look at them. It is possible to do. And just know the answer, but it's not reliable. Okay. So I'm going to give you a method that will work All every right. single time, and right. I actually love this method. I call this the A times C method. Okay. Not really sure why. Well, I do know why. You're because you're going to times A and C. Yeah. So just like you do when you're using the quadratic formula, which I'm not going to go over in this video because I think that's kind of simple. Yep. Um, you need to label your coefficients mm -hmm. A, B, and C. Okay. And you might even want to write I'm them down. I would definitely write them down because sometimes because people think that's nine. We are just. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. about what I was about to say. Yeah. Um, I, wanted, mm -hmm. I wanted to put something into this video. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit in the square there. So, we are going to write them out, and as Mr. Casey said, we, we're going to write them out because we need to make sure that we are obviously showing those negatives. Okay? Mm. So sometimes people go, oh, that's nice. No, 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 no. no. So, first thing you do is you do A times B. Okay? So, 5 times minus 2, and that is minus 10. Beautiful. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you're looking at this number, and when you're looking at this number, you are thinking about, and I do, sense. that's a thought bubble. Is that, is that a B inside a thought bubble? Yeah, and I, al I always draw that. Do you? Yeah, oh. right, thinking about, that. Thinking, about thinking about B. I've seen that Thinking about B. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about B. Okay. I'm thinking about splitting minus 10 into two factors mm. that would make B, which is why I'm oh. thinking about B. Yeah. So, two factors, and this is where those, those you know, numbers should be super quick year 12, super quick. Um, so, I'm going to go with 
Um, mine is 10 one and one the positive one. Why not minus, minus 1 and positive 10? Because I want negative numbers. Oh. Okay. Now, this is the bit where you, you've got to follow. Could I have a wee bit more? A wee bit more board, Just yeah. a wee yeah. bit more space. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. So, I'm going to write out my original equation, but mm. now I've split my B yep. into, into minus 10x and plus 1x, or just plus x. Now yep. that you're in, you know, A level slash IB, you probably don't need to write plus 1x, but I'm just going to write it there so you don't get confused. Minus 9x is the equivalent of minus 10x plus 1x, isn't it? And that's how I split my B. This is the magical bit. <laughs> this is the bit where I get excited and year 12 think I'm mad and... Well, yeah, if you ever get told by me, you know I'm a bit crazy. So, I'm now going to just factorise these. Mm -hmm. Like simple factorising, okay? So I'm going to look at this guy, and this is where I draw my seagull. Oh, can I? That um, Mr. Cason likes to draw dots on. And I'm going to look at this guy separately as well. Oh. I'm saying one eye, the one eye seagull. Beautiful. So, factorising him. What do they have in common? Uh, five. And? X. Brilliant. I'm going to take him out, and that would be x minus 2 in the middle. Beautiful. And over here, what do they have in common? They only have one in common, mm -hmm. and I also want this bracket to be yeah, common yeah, yeah. over here. So instantly you can see the x minus 2 and the x minus yeah. 2. So I know that I'm bringing out 1, mm -hmm. and you must write that one, guys. Now, that's the magical bit. They've both got the same thing going on. A bit okay? More a bit more bored. There we go. So, here, this, I'm just going to point this out here and now. If I had um, x plus 2 here, mm. okay, I would want to factor out minus 1 here in order to get yeah, x plus yeah. 2 over here. So you always have to be thinking that you want these two brackets to be the same. okay? You then factor out that common x minus 2, and what is left is your 5x plus 1. Still equals 0. And you factorised it. Now you can solve it. You're going to have x equals 2 here. Yeah. Now this, I'm going to do probably only for you once. Mm -hmm. I want that to equal 0. I'm going to minus 1 from both sides. And I'm going to divide, divide by, five. by 5. So I'm going to get minus 1 well, fifth. fifth as my answer. Now, you'll get into that, and you won't have to do that step every time, okay? If your algebra is on par, you already know that that's minus a fifth, and you can do that super quick, okay? Beautiful. That is my factorising. So I'm going to do it one more time, and I'm going to do it a little bit quicker well, now. Should we, should, we, should we... Have a go, maybe? Have a go. Have a go at that one. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. So, I'm going to factorise this one, nice and beautifully. I'm going to label... A, B, C. Um, I'm going to write them out. Equals minus 16. Equals minus 12. I'm going to do a times c, which is 3 times minus 12, which is minus, minus 36. 36. I'm going to split that into two factors while thinking about b. b. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking about b. I'm thinking about b. 16. Mm -hmm. mm. 18 and 2. Oh yeah, good, nice, thanks for being there. So it's going to be minus 18 and positive 2 and I'll just get minus 16. I then re I write out my minus 16x as minus 18x plus 2x. I then factorise each of these guys. So 3x is what they have in common, x minus 6 is in the middle. Lovely. 2x is what they have, sorry, 2 is what two, they have in and common. X minus six and I get that. Look, it's magic. Yeah, it's, it's magic, isn't I it? I just love it. Can I have a bit more? Yeah, there you go. A bit more. Um, what do they have in common? They have x, x minus, minus six. 6 in common, yeah, and two. they have 3x plus equals 2. two. Then I'm going to solve bit more this board. fandango. x equals 6. And x equals minus two, two over three. Hopefully you got that. Thank you for that tick. Okay, you're going to do these guys. Are we going to freeze again? Yeah. Are we going to freeze to drink him a tea? Drink tea. And, and we're back. back. Was that a nice refreshing? That was lovely. It was about ten minutes. Um, that so can I? I'm going to have to do these super quick All because. Right. Um, Otherwise, we're going to do. going to be a long video. I can speed this bit up. 
<laughs> um, no, genuinely, I could speed this bit up. Oh yeah, I know. I was just mocking in Without the way. talking. So, uh, for, can we just go back? Because if, if I if I speed that up, uh, so that's our answers for our first one. Yeah. You check your answers. That's your answers for your first one, and your second one. Yeah. How yeah, did fine. you do? Hopefully, you smashed it. Excellent. Um, also, just a, a word for the wise um, fractions, please. As your answers, not this one. Yeah, yeah. And oh, we don't like this one. Um. <coughs> I'm going to complete the square now. All this right. is the last bit. Okay, square. so you yep. can use complete the square to solve or to find the turning point. Chloe used to love doing this in my class. Oh. I'm missing Chloe. Do you want to? No, you, wanna you carry on. Oh. I'm, I'm just. I'm going to go and cry about the fact that people has gone. <laughs> Half the number. I'm not going to explain why because you should know why. Minus the nine, so minus that number squared, and then also carry down your minus one. That's going to give you x plus 3 squared minus 10. Then to solve, obviously I'm going to move things to the other side. They change signs. And I'm going to square root. When I square root, I make sure that I give plus myself minus. a minus. Otherwise I'm silly. Even the year 7s know that now. Yeah, and then I minus the 3. That is me solving completing the square. And that, I'm sorry guys, but that is like step 5 slash 6. So that should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Boom. But. Now there's a two, mm. okay? Now when we're completing the square, in order to do this shebang, you have to have um, a one mm. in front of yeah. your x squared. You have to have a one x, uh, your coefficient of x squared has to be one. So in order to do that, we first have to factor out two. So when we factor out two, we don't, we don't get rid of it, okay? <laughs> Please, don't do that. We divide everything by two. Okay. Still equals zero. And it still equals zero. The reason why I'm not going to get rid of it is because when I'm trying to find the turning point, it matters. Yep. So um, as much as yes, I can, you know, when I'm solving, I can just do that too. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking you to do that now because when you're finding the turning point, it will matter. So it's, it's poor practice in order to do that. So keep your two there, then deal with this normally. Okay, so half so we're it. Complete the square for that little bit. Yeah. Four. Half that minus that squared plus the five. Okay, like that, and then carry on, get it into the format that we want, like that. Now, I'm not going to go any further with that, okay? I'm just going to leave it as is. Now, what I'm going to talk about now is the turning point, okay? Mm -hmm. So, once you've got it into completing the square, okay, mm -hmm. you times everything back out by the 2. So, we're going to have 2x plus 1 all squared plus 8 equals 0. Now, in order to identify your turning point, okay, you have to know that little cheeky formula. So I've I'm going to give you a little bit more board. I do have it on the other page, and I'm now slightly annoyed that I don't have it on this page. <laughs> but the formula is ax plus t all squared plus q equals 0, where the turning point is minus pq. 
okay? So in this case, look, you can see that that is in the exact format Boom. as what I have there, okay? I've got it into that form, and now I can identify the turning point. A is just my scalar there that I don't need to worry about. P is going to be the opposite sign, mm -hmm. but it's going to be minus one. one. And my Q is just same. A. So I've identified the turning point there. It's beautiful. Okay? Moving on. We're going to do it again. Do it again? Yeah. So I'm going to factor out two and have x squared plus 5 over 2x. Okay? I've factored out 2, which means I've divided yep. it by 2. I'm not going to write 2.5. Not 2.5. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it at 5 over 2. two. Lovely. And I'll tell you for why in a moment. Okay? So I'm going to minus 3, because obviously I've divided it by 2. And I'm using these square brackets, yep. just case, and because mm -hmm. in a moment I'm going to put a curvy bracket in. inside. Yep. Okay? So it makes it nice and clear that you've separated those guys out. So I'm looking inside my square bracket now. The reason why mm -hmm. I've left it mm -hmm. as 5 over 2, because mm -hmm. now when I divide that by 2, mm -hmm. that just becomes 4. So I've got x plus 5 plus 5 over 4, all squared. squared. Then when I'm squaring that, that's easy oh, as well, because lovely. I can just square the top and square the bottom. 16, so it's 25 over 16, minus 3. Now, when you're using, when you're doing IB maths and when you're doing A-level maths, you actually have a calculator the whole time. Mm. But I 100% encourage you not to rely yeah, on it. Keep your brain active. Okay. Definitely. Please, may I have a touch on the I'm going to sort this, yeah, this that's guy a bit out. Messy. And you know, you know how I'm not going to get out of my calculator and no. do minus 25 over 16 minus 3. I ain't going to do that, Pete. I'm going to change, this is my favourite bit of maths, so I don't know why, <laughs> I'm going to change this into a top heavy fraction. Okay. And the way I do that is I think... 48 well, over 16? Yeah. So I think 16 times 3, well that's 48, so it's just minus 48 mm. over 16. 48 divided by 16 is 3. Also, my mm. favourite, one of my favourite type tables, 16 times 3. Don't know why, love it. <laughs> Do you know why, actually? I'll tell you why. Because it props I up you in quadratics. I kind of knew you would tell us why at some point. It pops up in quadratics. They cheeky. They go, oh, we're not going to use 6 and 8 as the factors. We're yeah. going to use 16 and 3. And then you're like, oh, it's just such fun. Um, yeah. You will turn into me, just so you know, with the maths. You will become as mad as I am. So minus 25, minus 48. Is a uh, 73? Yep. Good. Over 16. Glad I got that right. Mm. Then we just multiply it out. Yeah, go on. Which is, <sighs> which is nice and easy because again, we've got that fraction. And if it's over 16 and we times by 2, it's just going to be over 8. eight. So all those fractions, I don't need that bracket. Can I extend the board? Yes, oh, please. God, do. There we go. No, that's better, that's better. So turning point is uh, minus 5 over 4 and uh, uh -huh. minus 73 over 8. And that's fine, leave it like that. If you wanted to solve it, do you want to solve it? No. You don't? Turning point. Oh, sorry, go on. Well, I just want to know about turning point because we said it. Turning point. What is the turning point? Is we're going to remind that you of that on the next mm -hmm. page. I'm just going to solve this guy nice and quickly. So I have I'll two. Just bring down a fraction because you can't question it. Two x plus five over four uh, all squared minus seventy three over eight. In order to solve quadratic, you need zero piece. Of course you do. Um, move it to the other side. Change the sign. You're going to be so fluid with your maths. It's unreal. You're going to be like this. It's just easy, and I'm just loving life. And I can remove the square there. Um, Dividing it by two, just remember, just becomes mm -hmm. an extra bang. I need some more. I'm just you going do. through the board right, today. Just, we're using the border. Just Good job I put ink in this pen, wasn't it? I know. Otherwise, we would be at a loss. Massive there. Don't worry about doing that. Who cares? <laughs> That's the good thing about getting, you know, and even in degree maths, you just leave everything, just a nice, beautiful fraction. Oh, you just don't worry about it. Solved. Solved. Booyaka shop. Doesn't look beautiful. But it is. But it is in my eyes. <laughs> okay, turning point. point. So just to remind you of the turning point, I'm not going to do any more. Okay. Um, just to remind you of the turning point, 
we've seen that. We've looked so at we're, we're going to need to memorise this, aren't we? Yeah, you're going to need you're to gonna memorise gonna need to, you're, half you're half gonna need to memorise and that chunk. That's really important. Um, Did I not put a square on that? <laughs> no, I didn't. I put a um, on that. <laughs> and I said to Mr. Massey this morning, I said, Mr. Massey, what's that P and Q thing when it comes to turning points? He went, I don't know. <laughs> Classic <laughs> response. So, turning points, that's just a bit where the graph turns, stops, stops going turns. down and it starts going up, or it stops going up and it starts yeah. going down. It's where it turns. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. It could look like that. It could look like anything. And when you go into, like, um, cubics and quadratics, there's oh, multiple oh, turning yeah, I mean, points. Indeed. We're just going a bit crazy town now. Look at that fandango. Turning point. Turning point. You can also find Easy. the turning points Easy. with your sign of cross graphs. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, fun, but but not necessarily at the moment. And um, you can do those and yeah. never find out the answers yeah. because because we're not going to do the answers. Because I can't be bothered. <laughs> you, could, you could do the answers, and I could just put the answers up at the end. We could yeah. cut it and cut Let's and do that. So the answers will suddenly appear. There's your answers. Okay. Beautiful well, well, answers. Well worked out. Uh, quite nasty. Yeah. Quite not nice. not so nice. But then that's what you have to remember, really, in Ada's old book. Oh. Oh, pits. Just in case you're missing them. Um. They're not always nice answers. No. You're not going to get a whole number at the end and go, oh, this must be right. That Good. doesn't happen in IB or Ada Good. Bye. Well, um, we'll 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 see you next time. Not one next week. <laughs>